are digging deep this week on all of BART's problems and potential solutions. So here I am. I'm standing here on a map of the transit system. You can see where it ends in the East Bay. Right now, there's no connection to Livermore and the San Joaquin Valley. And at one point, it was considered a missed opportunity. But now, an East Bay mayor who fought hard for that extension no longer believes BART is the best option. In fact, he told me point blank, quote, BART is a train wreck. So right now, the Valley is coming up with its own solution, a missing link that could be a win for both BART and commuters. Let's take a ride back five years to 2018. Our lead story, BART to Livermore. Should trains run all the way to Livermore? East Bay commuters waiting on a key decision tonight. That key decision, a proposed BART extension that would run along 580 from the Dublin Pleasanton station to a new station near Livermore. At the time, Livermore's mayor was John Marchand. We have been working to bring five miles of BART for 40 years. It's time. But according to the BART board, it wasn't time and voted against a BART to Livermore extension. Livermore Mayor Marchand's view on BART Isabel now, today, and, uh, five years later? Uh, uh, BART is a train wreck. We talked to the mayor just after he rode BART from Pleasanton to Oakland to attend an Alameda Transportation Commission meeting. There's a guy smoking crack uh, on, my, on my car. So I'm going to fold it out and, and uh, start uh, you know, smoking around on the train. He took photos. So this is... It's Monday, and this is a guy smoking crack. Mayor Marchand says he would still like to see more public transit options, but he joins other residents who are convinced BART just isn't the best option for them. Let me ask you, so the last time you rode BART? Uh, I'd say about a year and a half ago. Took you a while to remember. <laughs> I would use it if I felt like it was a viable option, that it was safer. People no longer think of BART as safe. You know, BART used to be, used to be fun. Uh, but Bartner's now it's become an ordeal. But driving in heavy traffic is also an ordeal. So this is 580 heading toward Livermore on a good day, but there is always traffic and trucks driving along this route and no public transit once you pass the Dublin Pleasanton BART station. I think BART's in a death spiral, and I think one of the, the really saving graces for BART may be to actually, it's another project that I'm working on, and that's Valley Link. Valley Link is a proposed commuter rail from the Dublin Pleasanton BART to the San Joaquin Valley, adding stops along the way. 580 in Livermore, Mountain House, Tracy, and North Lathrop. The Tri Valley San Joaquin Regional Rail Authority is leading the effort. Is Valley Link full speed ahead? Is this a go? We are full speed ahead uh, currently in the environmental and preliminary engineering phase. How far along are we down the track, so to speak, to seeing a Valley Link? So our goal is to complete construction uh, by the end of 2027. There are currently approximately 200,000 vehicles a day going over the Altamont Pass coming from the San Joaquin Valley. And there is not a rail transit station. This is much like an eBART style train, except it wouldn't be run by BART. We'd simply be delivering uh, the commuters to BART's front door and that, that's in essence, would bring their fare revenues back up because we're bringing the customer to their front gate. Mayor Marchand believes it is just the link BART needs. So the, the real saving grace is going to be transit, and that's going to be Valley Link, hydrogen powered train, uh, zero pollution, coming over the Altamont, carrying thousands of people to connect with BART. Uh, and as I said, that's, I think, going to be BART's saving grace. So Mayor Marchand told me he believes this link is vital because many people live in San Joaquin Valley for affordable housing and they spend hours commuting in their cars to work in the Bay Area. In the meantime, BART wants to hear more about your experience on trains. The general manager and police chief will be holding what they call a safe and clean plan listening tour. The first one is this Thursday at 7.45 a.m. at the Fruitvale Station in Oakland. They'll also be at the Embarcadero and Pleasant Hill stations next week. The tour will visit various stations through December 13th. And we have been getting a lot of comments from you all since we launched our BART on the Brink series. In fact, one viewer writing, 
writing, I've ridden the train with friends who visited from New York and they are blown away by the cost. My suggestion to Bart would be to slash the fares by 50% and take a revenue loss in order to boost up ridership. And Roy says, I use Bart four days a week for work. The new cars are great. Ridership seems higher. The only downside seems to be the high level of non paying riders, i.e. gate jumpers. So please keep sharing your experiences with us. Use the hashtag KPIXTV on our social media accounts or email them to newsdesk at kpix.com.